just gonna jump straight into it today, guys. I've already put sellotape underneath my eyes to ensure I look is nice and crisp. I'm now taking a concealer and just setting my eyes ready for the eyeshadow. I'm now taking a flat concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend that all in, all over my lid, up to my eyebrows. I'm now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to go in with the lightest shade to set my concealer. So I'm now going to go in with the rest of the eyeshadow. I'm going to take my Morphe 35K palette and add a transition shade into my crease. So I'm going back in with the same Morphe palette I'm using the next shade along just to put back over my crease just to darken it up a little bit. So I'm now taking a darker colour from the Morphe palette and I'm going to go over my crease again and on the outer corners of my eyes just to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm now taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette again and I'm taking the darkest shade and packing that all over my lid. So I had to do my wing liner off camera because I literally couldn't record it. So I'm going to go in and start on the face now. I'm going to first take the MAC Mattifying Primer and just rub that all over my face in preparation for foundation. So for foundation I'm using my favourite foundation ever which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Tawny. And I'm just going to put that all over my face with a stippling brush and just blend that all in. I am on a bit of a breakout at the moment so I want to conceal that as much as possible so I'm using a full coverage foundation. now taking the Prep and Prime concealer by MAC and going underneath my eyes, tip of my nose and the top of my forehead just to brighten up my face and really give that contoured look. I'm now taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend all this highlight out. So once I've done blending out my highlight I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set my whole face with that. Now I'm moving on to my eyebrows. I'm just going to fill in my brows. They are really thin at the moment, so I wanted to make them a bit more defined, a little bit more thicker. So I've just used the pomade to do that. To keep my eyebrows in place, I'm going in with the Benefit Gimme Brow in shade 5. I'm just going to run that through my brows just to make sure my eyebrows are set and they don't move around throughout the day. I'm now taking the Bare Minerals Powder in the shade Silk 14. I'm just setting my whole face with that. So I'm contouring today with the Hoola Benefit Powder. This is one of my favourites. I'm using just a contouring brush from NYX. And I'm going to carve out my cheekbones. Also, I'm going to go over the top of my forehead just to really give that contoured look. So now I'm taking the Mary Luminizer by the Balm and I'm just going to highlight my face with it, doing the tip of my nose, the cupid's bow of my lips and my cheekbones. This highlighter is amazing. Now I'm going to take the shimmery shades in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just going to put them in my inner corner to really make my eyes stand out and make the whole look a bit more dramatic. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with a black liner in my waterline and just add some mascara. Now it's time to give myself some lips. I'm taking the MAC Spice Lip Liner and I'm just going to overline my lips and colour in my whole lip basically with this colour. Now I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked and I'm just going to pat that around my lips and then rub it in with my finger just to make it look seamless. And this is the finished look for today guys, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.